Welcome to the Fit Vegan Podcast, the show where we help you optimize your health, fitness, and mindset on a whole food plant-based lifestyle. My name is Maxim Seguin. I am a former triathlete, powerlifter, bodybuilder, and basketball player, and I've been vegan for over nine years. I'm also the founder and CEO of Fit Vegan Coaching, which has helped over 500 vegans from 20 different countries to completely transform their bodies and their health. I'm excited for you to hear today's episode. Let's get into the show. All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Fit Vegan Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about um, the mindset to succeed and live your best life in 2023. So it's going to be a short podcast. The mindset you need to have for this year is adaptability. Right? And I've shared this multiple times over the past several years in, in some of the podcasts, but the world is changing fast. We've all seen what happened with COVID, that things can just change um, within a matter of days. We can't predict what's going to be coming our way. So being adaptable is going to be a, a, mind, a, a mindset muscle that will be good for us to flex and become stronger. Because that's going to serve you in your transformation. So, for example, you had planned for a workout for the day. There's last-minute emergency. You need to bring your kid somewhere. You can't do your workout. Great. No worries. We're going to move the workout to tomorrow, right? Not letting the emotions affect you that you miss your workout. So when you come home that night, you don't turn to food that's not going to serve you. Like, great. I got a game plan. I'm moving to tomorrow, right? When you're supposed to meal prep, you weren't able to meal prep. You're like, oh, shit. I didn't have time because there's last-minute emergency. The next morning, waking up a little bit earlier, just planning your food for the day so you have enough to get by by the day and stay on track. And then that evening, preparing your food for the next few days as you were supposed to do for your meal prep if you had a stressful day at work being able to come home from work catch yourself be adaptable decompress and then make the right decisions for nutrition right so being adaptable is going to be a muscle that's going to serve you in every facet of life whether that is in your in your relationship in your business in your fitness in your health and nutrition whatever it may be and as again the world is changing really fast things are pivoting um, and that's a, a muscle that I'm seeing myself that I have to continually, continuously flex to become stronger at is to be adaptable. So if you always keep that in mind, adaptability is, is king and queen, however you want to name it. But it's what's going to allow you to succeed in 2023, right? Not even, I say, I say it would go hand in hand with perseverance, but perseverance with a game plan that is not adaptable won't allow you to succeed. So you don't want to have necessarily an exact step-by-step game plan to do some of the things that you want to do you want to have guidelines so that when something happens you're able to be adaptable not as if you're expecting to go from step to one to ten and then step four completely messes up and you're like oh i can't do step five what do i do might as well quit right but for you to have guidelines of how to get to the end uh, the ultimate goal that you want to reach so that's the only thing i would love for you to put a focus on for this year is to focus on being adaptable. Life will throw you curveballs and your ability to adapt is what's going to determine if you're going to come out as a winner on the other side. I've talked about this um, as to what served me in my life during the hardest times of my life. And it was an understanding that if I was at point A, and point I, I entered point A and there's an obstacle that came into my life, like when my ex-partner got sick, and then point B was me coming out on the other side, that the time that it took for me to adjust to this to the stress of the situation would be undetermined, but it would be sped up by my willingness to be adaptable, and that eventually I would adapt to that level of stress. So whatever life is throwing your way, may, right now you're either going into something that you're going to have to adjust to, you're either in a, in a phase where you have to adapt to something, or you're coming out of a phase where you've adapted to a stressor, where a year ago was a stressor for you, now it's not because it's become a part of your norm, and then you're going to continue progressing like that because life will continue to throw you different curveballs. So you're either going into a phase, you are into a phase of adaptation, or you're coming out of it and then about to enter the next one. So if you understand that you're always going to adjust to whatever stressor is in your life, it makes it more bearable for you to go through those harder times, knowing that eventually you'll adjust and your body will be able to handle that stressor. And then you'll come out on the other side. You'll be like, okay, great. I know how to handle this. A perfect example is for those of you that have kids. 
if I put you at when you were 20 year old in your current situation, the 20 year old you would probably freak out from all the levels of obligation that you have now with a kid in a family, right? But you adapted over time to being able to be in a position that you're in. I'm sure you have your moments of stress right now, but you're not in cap in cap incapacitated incapacitated sorry french is trying to come out now right like you're able to handle the situation is basically what i'm trying to say um same thing if like whatever you had just back up 10 years would the per would you from 10 years ago be able to handle the current stressors that you have in your life good chances are probably no right 10 10 me from 10 years ago could not handle the position that i'm in right um that's because I adapted over time to being able to be in this position. And so if you understand that, it makes it more bearable for you to go through these periods of changes and higher stress that will require adaptability on your end. But your willingness to be adaptable will make that process faster and more bearable so you can come out triumphant on the other side. I hope that might, I hope that makes sense. This is more of like a mindset uh, podcast versus like uh, training and nutri- or, or nutrition. But that's what has served me in my life to have the level of success that I had in multiple areas that allowed me to transform my body 15 different times that allowed me to coach over 600 people that allowed me to build multiple companies It's that there's always a period of adaptation. And if you know that it's not a forever thing and that eventually you'll come out triumphant on the other side, and then you can speed up that process by having a willingness to be adaptable, then it makes it more bearable and easier for you to adjust to it because you know it's not going to last forever. It's when you it's when something when you think something will last forever that it seems unbearable, but nothing lasts forever. Right. So hopefully this podcast episode was helpful. If you want to see more like that, definitely let me know. I definitely want to do a bit more episodes about mindset in the new year because ultimately that's what will help you transform your body thrive on plants have the life and lifestyle that you want is if you can have the mindset to follow through on the strategies that we're talking in these podcast episodes and with the guests that we're bringing on in order for you to reach your goal so hopefully this podcast episode was helpful we're entering the second month of the year next year so be sure to implement these things because or else it'll just be cool shit that you know that's not going to change your life like i tell my members at the end of every single group call We can talk knowledge all we want, but knowledge won't change your life unless you implement it. So be sure to implement it. Hope this podcast was valuable and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.